because I had seen some interviews with you where you were talking about it when you were in it, yes. and you genuinely seemed to believe that it was very beneficial to you. Of course, there's basic <clears throat> um, morals and basic tools to help you in your life, but remember, I wasn't educated. Most Scientologists are not educated. And so you mean as far as like college education? Any education, you know, yeah. I left school in the eighth grade. Really? Yeah. Scientology does not value a traditional education. They value your education So you never went to high school? Never. Whoa. Mm -mm. How old were you? I don't know how old were you in high school. Look, I don't even know. Well, eighth grade is like 13, I think, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So when you were 13, you just stopped going to school? Stopped going to school, and I was doing Scientology, and I was working. Like literally working, selling car insurance, and you were working at thirteen for Scientology companies, and so was my sister. Holy shit! Yeah, but uh, and people ask like, well, how come the um, nobody did anything? How come Child Protective Services? Who's calling them? Who's saying? And not to mention, we're we're then lying. Our parents are lying, saying they're getting a private education. They're getting um, tutored. Um, at home, or they're going to a Scientology school, which is partially true, um, or I, you know, I got my GED, you know, so I did things like that to, right. to. Um, but the, the original question, what, what was the? Because it was about me learning. What it was about? Wait, what was your original question? Because I was answering. Well, I was something. saying that it, it had to be of some benefit to you because right, it gave exactly. you confidence. So it gave me confidence because I thought I was getting. You know, I'm looking up these big words. I'm using a mm -hmm. dictionary. I'm like, you're doing more school than you could have ever imagined, even as, you know. Right. And, and you, um, I started to feel like, oh, I'm, I'm really accomplishing something. I'm, so yes, there, there are benefits to it. But I didn't realize, because I was a kid, that the things you're talking about that were beneficial were in the real world. I thought they were, they were invented by L. Ron Hubbard, as most people do believe that so you're saying were these things beneficial I would have learned these things at Sunday school I would have learned these things right. by being a good human being being around other people but regardless if I was brainwashed into believing that I was doing great things and learning great things then that does work it, you know what I mean it's yeah like, it, it does work if I say hey Joe if you do these steps you take these steps and you really truly believe in me you can then attribute it to Leah. You can say Leah is an amazing life coach. She told me to do these things, and without her, I can't. You know, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it, but not knowing that it was available to me in the real world, because I didn't. I thought L. Ron Hubbard had come up with these things. Mm. Now, when did it start to unravel for you? Well, it's a like a long. It's. It wasn't just one thing. I, I think people always think, what was the one? It wasn't just one thing. It was a slow process? It was, a sl it was six years of me. Basically, I was like begging them for these things not to be true that I was hearing about. Like what it things? It was, for example, when I went to Tom Cruise's wedding and I saw the leader's wife wasn't there. And, the, you know, David Miscavige, who's the head of the Church of Scientology, uh, his wife wasn't there, and when I asked the question, and I said, where is Shelley? Why is his assistant here? Um, scattered. People just scattered. And then I was told I didn't have the effing rank to be asking about a human, about the leader's wife. It wasn't that she was just an average person, that I didn't have the rank to ask about. You didn't have the rank? The rank. Wow. And so... That, that would begin... Okay, that was the beginning, but then when I went to my friends, now we're when you're my friend, I consider you family. Like, I really do. I, I take my friends very seriously. And um, my friends of 35 years... You're looking at my sexy nails right now? Your what nails? My sexy nails. Sexy nails? You do have very nice nails. You didn't use the word sexy, though. You said nice. Uh, well, I, you know, I'm, I'm different than other people when it comes to nails. Apparently, because the Are conversation... They real? Well, now, when you say real, what does that mean? Are they glued on? No, they're not glued oh, on. Oh, then I'm appreciating them more. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're finding out a lot about you. I, I'd like to do a whole couple of hours with you okay. talking about other things. Do I have to hold on to cans? And how's that you don't work? have to hold on to cans, but you do have to wear cologne because I'm not down <laughs> with your non-cologne wearing. Okay? You're too cute for no cologne. Um, so, okay, so let me get back. What was I saying? David Miscavige. Yeah, so you didn't that, have the right to question but, him. Yeah, but then seeing my friend's reaction right. to it where I said, you, well, you need to get involved in this. I think there's something really off. With what, David what did Miscavige. you think was going on? Well, I didn't know what was going on. I, I saw Tom have an executive role in our church, which I had a problem with. Because remember, 
uh, you learn very early on what L. Ron Hubbard says is the law. There's no, um, it, 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 it's not up for interpretation. There's no assimilation of data. It's just what it says. It's not what Joe thinks L. Ron Hubbard said, what Leah thinks. It's what it says. Right. And that's very strict. It's always, what does LRH say? Read it again. What does it say? And it's very tough. So I was very by the book person. I'm a by the book person. Okay. If I have a, a recipe, I follow it exactly. I don't do pinches. I don't do that shit. I do exactly how it says in the recipe. And then I see how it goes after that. Scientology is about word for word. What does it say? 